Okay, so you definitely have the energies of two people and two people that are consistent across the, the, the spread, okay? So first of all, we have an air sign in the past. So this is a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in your past, also in your present. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra also in your future. And then we have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio showing up in your future. This is quite interesting. Um, I mentioned in the past that, you know, you keep having this person that comes up, the Queen of Swords. So the theme for this week here is um, you kind of need to look at what is really, really giving you that emotional fulfillment, okay? Okay. And um, in your spiritual advice position, we have here the hermit in the reverse position. The hermit in the reverse is like not looking in the right place, looking for love in the wrong places, barking up the wrong tree, making associations and connections with people who might not give you that emotional fulfillment that you're looking for, or looking at a situation where you're looking at the wrong things and you're not finding the right solutions, or you are refusing to kind of confront or face the truth or looking at the bigger picture in a situation. You have in your past an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This is someone who's very, very clear with their communication. And Taurus, I know that it takes you a really long time to put your trust in another person. That is the nature of all fixed signs. It takes you a really long time to open up. It, And I honestly feel like some of you could be overly suspicious of people who are such straight shooters. And if someone is too straightforward... I feel like you don't trust it and you feel as if they have ulterior motives or you feel like they're being um, they're being too foolish by being so straightforward. However, this is something for you to really try on for size. Um, being a straight shooter, being straightforward, being honest, and being very, very directed with what it is that you want, how you communicate. So you have this person in your past that has been nothing but truthful and honest with you. And for whatever reason, because they're so truthful and honest, there might have been harsh words exchanged between you and this person. And because they're like this, whereas you do keep everything close to your chest and you don't really reveal, you know, your deepest, darkest secrets, your deepest, darkest fears, your desires and going after what you want. It has created this emotional rift between you and another person. The six of swords, I'm sorry, the six of cups. This is a soulmate type of a connection. This is a, a connection with another human being in which we both are forced to learn, to grow, and to adopt one another's ideas, okay? It can be very difficult because one person wants the upper hand, okay? One person is wanting to give the affection and then the other person just needs to receive it. So I feel like from this card, the energy is you should be grateful for everything that I'm doing for you keeping scores in relationship and one person wants the upper hand they want to be the the giver they want to be the pursuer they might even want to be the person that the other person thanks give thanks to so i feel like there are um giving you know the energy of giving with strings attached or doing things because we want something out of it rather than doing things from the goodness of our hearts. And I feel like you're dealing, dealing with somebody who might have asked you for a lot of things. They might have make, made like heavy demands on you. And then over time, you feel like you might have been used. You feel like they're not being, um, they're not being either considerate or understanding that your time is limited, that you're doing a lot in a relationship and you're doing a lot to try to sustain this relationship and that it's taking its toll on you because they keep asking for more and you don't have a lot more to give. You don't have the time, the resources, the emotional um, investment left to give them. In the challenge position, we have here the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is indicating to me somebody who's very, very visible. Okay, so they're very, very visible in, in whatever way. They could be very famous. They could be, you know, 
um, they're dividing their time between a lot of uh, responsibilities and a lot of other people. And I feel almost like whenever we're so visible, we have to be really mindful about how we say things. We have to be really mindful about who we hang out with, who we, how we communicate. We have to censor ourselves and we can't really express ourselves exactly the way that, that we want. But I feel like at the bottom, um, like underneath the layers with this reading, it's about you not wanting to, um, it, it's sort of like conforming conforming to social expectations, conforming to family expectations, conforming to the expectations of those around you and not really authentically living in your truth. And on top of that, you have this added pressure of being very, very visible where you are not free to act in the way that you know how. So the foundation here, we have the emperor, which once again echoes the same theme. This is a person in a position of authority and they're not going to overturn, you know, years of tradition. They're not going to overturn a work environment. They're not going to be able to freely act um, because it's going to affect everything around them. So I feel like in a way, you're kind of like this pillar of strength and stability. You keep the work situation, you keep the, the, the environment, you keep the home unit afloat. You're the person that everybody relies on. And so you're not free to behave and act and emotionally express yourself in the way that you want. You're not able to express bias. You're not able to be emotionally irrational because people depend on you for certain things. And so when you're dealing with this person, possibly the air sign, who wants you to emotionally express, who wants to connect with you, who wants a lot more attention from you. I feel like you are distancing yourself, mainly because the situation, the communication has been too emotionally draining. And then I'm also sensing as well, this person came into your life at a point when you might have had a, an emotional falling out with another person. So I have here a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, someone that is withholding their affection, or they are making very heavy emotional demands on you when you're not able to reciprocate. And I feel like you are caught between two people here. And it's like being caught between a rock and a hard place. One person sees you as someone who's not capable and the other person really boosts your self-esteem and makes you feel like you can achieve greatness okay i honestly don't know which is which but i do feel like this air sign straightforward and this water sign might be a little bit clingy um codependent and you know they're they're very loving water signs are incredibly incredibly nurturing loving but they're also very emotionally demanding on you on on the people that they they love and so i feel like one person boosts you up the other person might tear you down and it's not the fact is i feel like there's a switcheroo there's like a a, a switch in the energies okay because this is upright but in the outcome position it's in the reverse and then this is in the reverse in the outcome position they have redeemed themselves and they're moving upright so it's quite interesting the way that the the energy plays out in your advice position we have here the hermit and um, this fell out I believe for Aries too so I'm gonna cl clarify for you because I want to see what this is relating to what are they not seeing and what do you want them to know about their spiritual advice okay so we have here the king of pentacles this is somebody who cares about earthly possessions who can be a little bit on the materialistic end and who cares about financial stability so taurus um you are the i i want to say like um when your, emo when your financial foundation is very, very rocky, I feel like you heavily identify your self-esteem, your competence, and your confidence level greatly with the financial resources that you own. 
And when it's in the, we have as well the three of wands in the reverse. It's almost like you're dealing with a different type of a person. You're dealing with somebody who is like a, a nomad. They can travel with less. When a situation becomes too difficult, they just pick up and go. They don't, they're not bound to earthly possessions. They're not bound to, you know, I'm going to stay and work things out. So I feel like they just up and bounce. Not because they are flaky or unreliable, but because... They would rather have peace of mind and be alone in and be happy than being stuck in a situation where they're carrying the brunt of the relationship and their partner is not understanding. So I feel like you're dealing with a different breed of people and you're not used to it. So with the hermit in the reverse is you're not seeing this situation for what it is. The other person doesn't care about how much money you make. They don't care about you being stable. They see you as an equal partner and they see you on the same level playing field as them. So they're not going to care how much money you have in the bank. They're not going to care about the frivolous, practical, um, tangible things they care about freedom of movement and you know having an enjoyable life and waiting for opportunities to come in where we can expand our consciousness and i feel like this is something that you're racking your brains trying to figure out when someone is too honest and too straightforward i feel like rather than taking things at face value you read too much in between the lines and you feel like Nobody is that honest. Nobody is that nice. Nobody is that straightforward. So whatever suspicions that you have, I feel it's unfounded. And I feel like you're looking at a person who has been truthful and honest through a very, very suspicious lens that is colored and affected by your interactions with people who have ulterior motives and who are um, manipulative to in order to get what they want. So looking at the value in the right person and trusting in the right person and, you know, seeing people for who they really are. I feel like that's the, the major spiritual advice coming through. External to your environment, we have here the judgment card in the reverse. And I feel like there needs to be contact. There needs to be communication. There needs to be kind of like airing out the dirty laundry so that everybody can see what is on display, what's on the table, what are we dealing with, okay? So making decisions in order to clear up the air. So this is all about, you know, that, that angelic type of a timing where everybody's on board, rallying people to, to your cause, okay? I feel like many of you are playing the position behind the scenes where you are telling yourself, my hands are tied, I'm not free to act the way that I, I, uh, I want. And there's really no excuse for that. With the Six of Wands, you're in a position of authority. People trust you. So whatever you need to say, I feel like you're holding yourself back because you don't want to cause a ruckus. And in your hopes and fears, we have here the Moon card, fear of being deceived. And the thing about being deceived is whenever someone deceives us we get very very dis defensive because you know our ego is triggered and subconsciously we kind of tell ourselves they must think i'm very stupid for them to tell me a blatant lie and if you take your ego out of that and just say that you know this is not about me this is not about them deceiving me this is more about them having a pathological trait where they are unable to tell the truth to anybody not just me taking your ego out of it and approaching a situation where you are not trying to confront the other person or corner them or get the upper hand but you're just trying to get at the truth i feel like there's somebody here who has been very honest with you, but for whatever reason, you have this unfounded and unexplainable sense of distrust towards them. And it's based on the people that you've dealt with in your past. And it's based on, you know, some internal things that unfortunately I feel like you have to work on. Okay. In your outcome position, we have here the five of cups. The five of cups is looking at a situation for what it is. And I feel like regretting 
regretting the choices that we should have made, regretting the, the communication that has gone on, regretting that we didn't invest our time and the resources in the right things, letting a good opportunity pass us by. And it's kind of like, it's not until it's too late that we start to see it for what it is. Okay, we start to see the value in the person when they're no longer in the picture. We start to kind of um, live in the regret. We should have done things differently. We should have been, um, we should have seen it for what it is. And we also have as well the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So once again, the two people coming out and in their positions are switched. So I feel somebody is trying to make amends with you. Somebody is making an offer. Somebody is coming in, softening up their energy. So rather than being abrasive and, and um, I want to say like straight shooter, they're trying to be more emotional. They're trying to wait on you. They're trying to make an offer as well. And they're trying to reach out to you in an emotional way. If you have had some... Um, disappointments coming in for this week. The disappointments are kind of like a blessing in, the, in disguise because the other person is going to see that you're dealing with a lot and they're coming in offering assistance, offering their love and revealing their love to you because they're trying to cheer you up and they're trying to make things right by you. Okay, so whatever disappointments you're dealing with, think of it as a blessing in disguise. It allows you to kind of like admit, you know, I've been wrong. And then in the process, I feel like the right people will be in the picture to show you that uh, they have your back no matter what, that you have their unwavering support and loyalty. And there's also, you know, love offers as well as an offer for an emotionally, um, it's, it's more like an emotional offer. Somebody is opening up to you. Okay. I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, Taurus.